guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be filming a review video. They are jackhammering outside, and that's just what I have to live with, so I apologize for that. I'm going to be reviewing Furies of Calderon today. This is the first book in the Codex Alera series, which is a six-book adult fantasy series, and it's by Jim Butcher. Um, this book was really good, and it's about a handful of characters living in this world where they have these magical things called Furies, and Furies can control an element, so you have Earth Furies, Water Furies, Fire Furies, Air Furies, and even each person has an individual fury that has a name that can control these elements, which is really cool. It sounds really awesome. It is really awesome. Tavi, however, is one of the main characters, and he does not have a fury, so that's a problem in this world, because almost every Alaran has a fury. This book specifically is about these handful of characters trying to prevent an attack from the Marat, which is a savage being in this world, but what they're trying to prevent an attack from the Marat. So that's kind of what this story is about, and I really enjoyed it. I ended up giving this book a 4.5 stars, or a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Reasons why, the reason why I didn't give it a 4 out of 5 stars and then just bump it up to a 4.5 was because I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to give it a 5 out of 5 stars, but there are some little things that I just prevented me from doing that, mostly because it's the first book in a series and it has that first book in the series syndrome, but it was still very enjoyable. This book was super fast paced, there was not a moment where we were sat down and talked to, there was not a moment where the characters weren't doing something, it was always going, 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 and I enjoyed that pace. It did get, it did take me a while to read it, which sounds odd because it was so fast moving, but I think it was because I read so much so quickly that I felt like I had to take a break just relax and just wait it out. So I did read it a little slow, but it is 600 pages, so I don't know. I think it balances out. Yeah, I enjoyed this story a lot. The world building in the story was not existent, wasn't very existent. We didn't learn about a lot of Oh my god, I can't talk. We didn't learn a lot about the world. It was more, uh, we were thrown into the world and just kind of learned as much as we could. We were just basically viewers into this world, and I imagine that the next books in the series will develop the world more, and I'm looking forward to that. We are going to be seeing a lot more of the world and learning about a lot more of the rules and the system and all kinds of things about the world. That is that about the world. There's not really much to say about the world just because it's not, it wasn't fully developed. However, what I did learn about the world was awesome, and I think it sounds really, really cool. I kind of liked the pacing, the way the world building was. However, I have a ton of questions, and I want them answered, so I need to read the next books in the series so I can get them answered. I know this is supposed to be a mix between Pokemon and like the Roman Imperial time period and so I'm not, I don't know a lot about Pokemon so I can't say if those things affected me because I just don't know Pokemon very well. I, cre I collected a lot of Pokemon cards when I was young but I was a complete, complete Dragon Ball Z fan so Pokemon was just not my thing when I was a kid. Um, it feels like everyone's gonna hate me now that I said that, but I did play Pokemon video games and stuff like that, but I just didn't know, I just don't know a lot about the ins and outs of Pokemon, so I can't say if that affected my reading or not because I just don't know a lot about it. Let's see, the characters were really, really awesome. I enjoyed all of the characters, and even the ones I was supposed to hate, I enjoyed them. It's giving me flashbacks to Game of Thrones. I've only watched season one of Game of Thrones way, way back when, and I haven't read it yet, but the characters, the way the characters are set up, there are some characters that you love to hate and some characters that you hate but you kind of appreciate, and this book had those, both of those things. I appreciated all the characters and all the dynamics they wove into the story. It was just really, really cool to see just how why the characters were doing what they were doing and you got to read from some of the not so good characters and then you got to read from the good characters and it was just really cool writing style. I just enjoyed that part of the character development. Also there wasn't a ton of character development in this story. That reminds me. The characters were already pretty much developed. Well most of the characters. Um, the young ones like Tavi and Amara, you can see where they're gonna have growth and I guess the other characters too will have a ton of growth. But they're already good characters and they're already brave and they're already have good basic morals which is really really nice to see but it also doesn't leave a ton of room for growth in the first story. So I'm excited to see where Jim Butcher takes these, these character arcs and I'm just really excited to see where the characters go from here but there wasn't a ton of character growth in the story I will say that. What else? I want to mention really quick that this is an adult fantasy novel and I don't have a ton of experience with adult fantasy. I've only read the Mistborn trilogy and that's like the basic of my adult fantasy and that's not really adult fantasy I don't think. It's kind of in that middle ground. But this book featured a lot of adult themes and it featured descriptions in those adult themes where in the Mistborn trilogy it was only hinted at or um, it wasn't mentioned at all and this book had those adult themes was described and was not hinted was 
happens in detail. So I just think that's nice to mention in a review in case those things don't appeal to you. But if you're going to read adult fantasy, I'm pretty sure you're prepared for those types of things. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else I want to talk about. That's kind of it for the story itself. I enjoyed this story so much. I've seen some mixed reviews on Goodreads. A lot of the people that were giving it low ratings were fans of Jim Butcher's Dresden Files and they were saying that they were giving this a shot and they were going to try it out. But the Dresden Files is completely different and I don't think it's a fan genre. I think it's more like crime or true crime or something like that. I'm not 100% sure and I apologize, but I know for a fact that it's not along the lines of this fantasy. Just be prepared when you go into this book. Yeah, I wanted to mention that I uh, read the audiobook with this book and I've been doing that a lot lately, especially with the fantasy, but I have a couple of other books that I'll be reading that aren't fantasy. That I'll be listening to an audiobook and reading the book, but I enjoyed it so, so much, and I don't know if you guys enjoy that too, or if you want to know about it. If you do want to know more about my audiobooks and how I felt about an audiobook, let me know down below, and I will add it in the end of my reviews, so that way people can enjoy that review of the audiobook as well as the review of the actual book, or the story itself. I mean, not the actual book, but you know what I'm saying? But basically, what I wanted to say is that this book was narrated by Kate Reading and Reading, not Reading, um, it's spelled Reading, but it's Reading and she reads some of Brandon Sanderson's books and she is such a great narrator. She has so many voices that she can make up and there's just, I just love the way that she tells the story. I think it's really awesome. They're just so good. I'm just enjoying the audiobook so much because it helps a lot with like the pronunciation of um, places and names and it helps get a picture in my head and I can read it while I'm in the shower getting ready, about to take a nap, working out. I can read it as well as do other things. I'm in the car. You know, those things are really nice to have and I really enjoyed the audiobook for this. It also had some things that I didn't like so, um, just editing things where the story would cut off and there wouldn't be a break between paragraphs and things that I would notice that I'd have to like take a second to figure out what was going on but overall I really enjoyed the audiobook so if you are planning on getting the audiobook I highly recommend it. Also I will leave a link to audible.com which is an Amazon side website that deals with audiobooks and it's really cool. They have really cool features. I'm not affiliated with them or sponsored by them or anything but I enjoy audiobooks and I enjoy audible.com. They have so many offers and you can get a membership and get free credits which means you can get a free book and I mean you pay for the book but you pay 14 bucks a month for a book that costs $50. I think it evens out. Audiobooks are really expensive and Audible membership is really worth it if you like audiobooks as much as I do. So I'll link that down below if you want more information. I want to link down below Reagan's channel because she's the one who recommended this book not to me specifically but to, to all of her viewers on YouTube and I just think it would be great if you wanted to read more fantasy to go check out her channel because she has a lot more fantasy and a lot more options that you can choose from and I think that she has a great channel so I'll link it down below. Yeah, I think that's it for this review. Let me know down below if you guys are interested in picking this book up, if you have picked it up, or if you are going to. I would love to talk to you guys about it. Let me know if it sounds good, you know. Just let me know. Let's talk. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!